everyone and welcome back to Akshata's Recipes. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you things that I do on a daily basis to keep my home looking neat, clean and very tidy. So let's get started. to do is when we all wake up is to get the beds done. So either my family members help me out with that or I like to do it. I just find that when we make our beds it just makes us feel all the more peppy and that the day has started rather than having a bed which is undone. You know it still makes you feel lazy and like as if the day hasn't started yet. And it doesn't even take more than five minutes to get your bed done. So that's the first thing. The second thing I like to do is just give a quick wipe to the furniture. It doesn't take more than 10 minutes for me. That is my hall furniture as, as my sitting room as well as my bedroom. Just take a microfiber cloth and some cleaning liquid to spray it and wipe it. And once this becomes a part of your daily chore or your daily routine, automatically you will find that you know you just keep doing it on a, on a regular basis. to do is tackling clothes. So in the morning I like to get my laundry, the soiled clothes into my washing machine and get them washed. Then the clothes that come uh, from drying up, I like to fold them, whatever needs to go for ironing, put them in a separate lot and otherwise just fold everyone's clothes and put them in their respective cupboards or closets. Tackling clothes is really very important. Even clothes lying on the floor after someone has had a bath or just change clothes also makes your home look very, very clumsy and dirty. So pick up those clothes and just put them for, you know, into the laundry basket or into the machine, washing machine if they need to get washed immediately. dirty you can just put them into your shoe closet or if they're wet then we have a small little carpet uh, at the entrance of our doorway so we just keep it over there but never take your shoes which you come you have know, gone outside into your home because all that dirt will go all over your house and your house will not be clean so from the hygiene point of view keep your shoe and your footwear which you have used outside in your shoe rack or on a uh, separate carpet near your doorway and have a separate set of home slippers or house slippers or you can even wear socks in the house to keep uh, the house clean as well.
example, if you have a small little a drawer where you keep your keys as you come into the door, rather than just throwing them on the table, just go and put them back inside. If you have a specific place to keep all your mail, rather than just keeping them on the countertop or on your table, put them in a particular place in your drawer or make a small, buy a little small little, you know, uh, 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 or you can make one. I'll show you how I made a small little mailbox where I just put everything and then at the end of the day, you just go through it and see whether there's something to be uh, taken care of. Countertops as empty as possible. Put away things. If your butter is lying on the countertop, take it out, put it into the refrigerator. If some uh, canisters or some uh, boxes are just lying all over the place which have things in there like cereal or grain, put them away in the space provided. If you have some uh, dishes lying out, or some cutlery lying out, put them away in the places designated. Keep your kitchen countertops as minimal as possible. That way you won't feel overwhelmed when you enter the kitchen to start your cooking or just to have a cup of tea. You'll find your kitchen looking nice and stick and stand. That also goes for the sink. If you have a dishwasher, then load a dishwasher and try to keep your sink as empty as possible. And even if you don't have a dishwasher, just keep a little separate space for it, like a small steel kind of a, a tray or a small plastic kind of tray. And just put all your soil dishes in that. And whenever you can tackle it, tackle it as soon as possible. Wipe them, put your dishes away and keep your sink as clean as possible. Even a clean sink and a clean kitchen towel makes you feel less overwhelmed and it makes your home look thick and stacked. Also, another good tip for the kitchen is keep clean kitchen napkins at all times on the kitchen counter. What I like to do is I have three, two sets of kitchen napkins which I rotate. So in the morning I have a particular set and for the evening I have a particular set. Just two or three napkins, put them for wash, keep another set ready so your kitchen always has clean kitchen napkins. boxes so to hide clutter away sometimes you know we just have to put something away and you know there's it just lying over doesn't really look very good if it's just laying over the table so nowadays you get these pretty boxes made of rope or cardboard or cloth so just have these where you can just put in your stuff and it doesn't look you know strewn all over the place so I have a little box for keeping my watches and my daily jewellery that I use like my earrings or my ring. So before going to bed or when I come home and I don't want to wear all of that, I just put it into that box. Also I know that okay if I'm in a hurry and I need to pick it up, it's just in that box.
clean and that too not at a very high cost. Just keep the place looking nice and peppy and nice and fresh. Like change your cushion covers regularly. I like to do that, you know, just with the seasons. I have about four or five sets of cushion covers. I am, I love cushion covers. And I find that when you change your cushion covers, your home also looks very different. So I like to change it according to the season or if there's a festival, then I put up some nice, bright and real festive cushion covers. And I've learned that even that spruces up your home and makes it look nice. You can put some flowers, fresh flowers or artificial flowers. You can even have some paintings on the walls. Like I like to put these with little sayings or uh, you know, stuff around the house. It just makes everything look so peppy and so nice and makes your home look feel very, very cozy and makes you uh, also feel really rejuvenated and motivated. Also, you can clean up your mirrors or glass doors like the one I have over here. You know, just take a little bit of liquid spray. You can make a spray at home out of vinegar and water, that is equal proportions of water and vinegar. So if you have any glass surfaces like your cupboard in your kitchen or your showcase or any mirrors in the house, just take some white vinegar and some water fill up a spray bottle, take a microfiber cloth, just spray it on the mirror, wipe it and then take a regular newspaper and just polish it with the newspaper. Just run your hands thoroughly over the surface and you will see that your mirrors are always shining, your doors are always clean because most of our glass doors like this one we have behind always gets fingerprints on it. So that's a very easy way of cleaning glassware as well as mirrors. basin or the sink in which we brush our teeth or, or wash our face, keep that place as dry as possible, wipe it down whenever it gets really wet, clean, put clean, fresh, dry towels over there also. No one likes to wipe their hands to a soggy, dirty, soiled, uh, you know, napkin or, or towel near yeah, the sink or the basin. So keep about two or three towels ready at hand so whenever you know your towels are dirty or they get really wet you can just change them and uh, put a new one. So always have a good stock of napkins, kitchen napkins, basin towels. That way also your house looks nice and spruced up and clean at all times. lying about the place like water bottles, books or cushions on the floor, umbrellas lying everywhere or just things everywhere and make everyone help me out and put them, their things back into their places or just to pick up things like you know someone has drank a glass of water, it's just lying over the counter or the table, pick it up and put it away. So make it a habit 
with all your family members to pick up after themselves. If they finish drinking water from a bottle just, or a glass, just put it into the sink or put the water bottle back into the refrigerator or in the kitchen on the counter, on the, in, the, in the space provided. Sometimes you have cushions on the floor, so pick them up, just tidy up the place and it's an instant, you know, your home will look clean instantly. days on which I do my zone cleaning like where I thoroughly clean up for example my bedroom so I assign Monday for my bedroom and I give it a thorough cleaning and yet friends you will be surprised it doesn't take me more than 45 minutes I've tidied myself and that's very important too whenever you do a chore just put a timer on your phone and you'll be surprised at how little time all of these chores take so don't get overwhelmed if your home is messy. Just start today and start doing a little bit of cleaning on a regular basis. And it just becomes a part of your day when you know that, okay, this is what I have to do. Just wipe the furniture, put things away, make the bed. It doesn't take much time and it becomes, it just gets ingrained into your daily routine. And that way, you don't have a lot of stuff to do. Now, like I was talking about my zone cleaning, if you would like to see how I go about my zone cleaning, then leave your comments in the comment box below and show you how I thoroughly clean up each and every room, uh, you know, in addition to the regular cleaning that I do on a regular basis, I have my zone cleaning where I do a thorough cleaning of each room, uh, maybe once in a week or maybe once in two weeks, if it is, if uh, the place is not that uh, dirty or messed. So friends, I hope you liked today's video, something different, a little change from the regular recipes. If you like these type of videos and you want me to show you all more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up, leave your comments down in the comment box below as to what videos you would like to see in addition to my recipes and I would be more than happy to show you such videos. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and once you have subscribed, click the bell so every time I put up a new video, you'll get a message for the same. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. I will catch you in my next one. Bye!